Have you ever wondered what the performance difference is between stock windows and a fully optimized windows? Well, I was kind of wondering, so let's find out. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Before we get started with today's video, please just head on over to my YouTube page. Guys, for all of my subscribers, um, just make certain that you have that little notification bell selected so that whenever I drop a new video, you are notified. I need help with that algorithm. I want to blow up. So you guys need to do it for me, guys. Other than that, if you're not subscribed as of yet and you want to subscribe, please consider doing so. Guys, what am I comparing today? I'm comparing my optimized version of Windows versus stock standard Windows with no optimizations. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about when you install Windows and when you've not done any optimizations, you haven't overclocked, you haven't undervolted, just stock standard, you've just done your updates. So that's what I'm comparing. So let's have a look at stock windows quickly. For stock windows, I literally did nothing. I installed MSR Afterburner and Rivertina Statistics just to record my FPS in-game, the average FPS as well as 1% lows. But I didn't overclock or undervolt my card, I just left everything as is. And as you can see, it looks pretty dire. Um, then I installed the latest NVIDIA driver 535.98 in the NVIDIA control panel. The only thing I altered was to put, uh, make sure that the high performance NVIDIA processor was selected in game. Everything else I literally just left stock standard. No optimizations whatsoever. And then in Windows settings, I set my refresh rate to my to my screen's refresh rate, which is 120 hertz, as you can see over here. Um, and then, yeah, I left everything pretty much as is, but just to get the games to run, so I can do the comparison, I installed all the latest Visual Visual Plus Plus packages, as well as DirectX Web. But you can see it's a mess it's all all this like junk apps and stuff that you get with windows um and then the only other thing i did was to update windows fully just to make sure it's on the latest version of windows 10 22 h2 did nothing else and at that let's get to my results so getting to those results um all my games are tested at medium settings where if it's our 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I set it to quality. Um, with the exception of Returnal, my computer's under spec for Returnal, so I've set it to low settings preset with the FSR set to balanced. And then Resident Evil 4 Remake, because the settings are so, so complicated, I use a mixture of high, medium and low. That's what I play the game at, so I just leave it at that and I don't alter it. So. Um, and I use the quality setting. Everything else is on medium, on quality. Um, I, my hard drive is pretty much full. I only have single player games offline. I don't play multiplayer games. I don't have space for multiplayer games. So if you, um, for offline games, your results may vary. Guys, I test on a GTX card, not an RTX platform. So, but then again, I'm not comparing drivers. I'm comparing stock winners versus optimized windows so i don't think that's going to apply and then i'm using the latest nvidia driver 535.98 so guys stock windows with no optimizations uh, it's not looking so pretty so i added up all the average fps's over 10 games my average fps per game was 65.9 because my total fps over 10 games was 659 so average FPS per game is 65.9. Not terrible, but not great. And then I uh, did the same thing for the 1% lows, added up all the 1% lows, and over 10 games, my 1% low total was 403. Divide that by 10, and my average 1% low per game for stock winners with no optimizations or whatsoever is 40.3. So you can see um, it's not looking great, huh? Uh, when I divide 40.3 by 65.9, my stability percentage on stock windows with no optimizations is 61.15%. Which you kind of would expect because that's why you optimize windows, to get the full performance of your system, whatever it may be. 
and let's get to optimized optimized was looking a lot better um, as i mentioned i'm very happy with with the latest version of windows 10 i did a fresh install on friday and my computer is better than it's ever been it's it's fast it's fresh it's fit no, i don't watch that podcast so guys um i added up all the average fps's and then my total fps over 10 games was 730 uh, you'll probably think why is it a little bit higher because ever since I've updated Windows I'm getting so much extra performance in Spider-Man Remastered I don't know if it's something that they did in the latest Windows update but my 1% lows are astronomically higher than they've been in a while and my average FPS is about 10 FPS higher so yeah and then also uh, I added Resident Evil 2 to my benchmark because The Last of Us since doing the update in Windows 10 and Windows 11, The Last of Us keeps on crashing. So, yeah, that's why my average FPS looks a lot higher because I don't have The Last of Us in here. But anyways, so I added up all my average FPSs, got to a total FPS of 730 over 10 games, divided by 10, it's 73 uh, FPS average per game on optimized Windows. Did the same thing for the 1% lows, added up all the 1% lows and my total 1% low is 561 over 10 games so the average 1% low per game on optimized windows is 56.1 in my case so when i divide the 56.1 by 73 the stability on my optimized version of windows on my system is giving me a stability percentage of 76.85 percent so guys you can see in terms of stability um, for me on my system uh, going from unoptimized to optimized there is a 15% uh, increase in stability but when we're talking about average FPS um, on, optimi on my optimized system the average FPS was 10.77% higher and then in terms of 1% lows this was quite big it was 39.21% higher the 1% lows going from stock windows to your optimized windows so so the whole point of this video is just to show what type of performance increase you can get by doing the optimizations that I use going from stock windows to the end product which is an optimized windows but obviously it's going to vary system to system anyways guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button if you haven't subscribed as of yet now's the time to do so and let me not forget if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section enjoy the rest of your evening it's people like you cheers